What's up guys, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Investing into the stock market is increasing massively in popularity, especially among millennials and the growing middle class. This is due to a variety of factors, one of the main ones being the abundance of free trading apps, such as Trading212 and Robinhood in the US. However, this ease of investing into the stock market now comes with many risks, especially due to the crazy retail investor who thinks that investing into the stock market is just too easy. So in this video, I'm going to reveal the main dangers you should look out for when investing into the stock market in this new age of the crazy retail investor who thinks investing into stocks is nothing more than gambling. So are you ready to become a wolf of Wall Street and not just another sheep? If so, let's dive in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Welcome back, guys, to Motivation to Invest. Before we get started, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could smash that like button. That helps out with the YouTube algorithm, which allows us to continue creating more great content like this for you guys. In addition, if you would like some exclusive stock market investing tips and stock market picks, which I personally have invested into, then you should definitely think about subscribing to this channel. Be sure yeah, to turn the notification yeah, bell yeah, on. Yeah, that way you'll get notified when a great in, stock yeah, is at a great flex, price and I, I am investing win, into yeah. it. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So why is investing into stocks increasing in popularity? Well, there are six main drivers for this, from a growing middle-class population to exciting new tech stocks such as Tesla, which appeal massively to millennials. Then of course you have the free trading apps, which make it very easy to invest in stocks. In addition, you also have the access to free investing information. Previously, if you wish to invest in the stock market, you had to contact an expensive broker, pay hefty fees, and then also try to get advice from these people. This was laborious, time consuming, and expensive. These days, you can just watch someone like me on YouTube giving you great, stock market investing tips and advice absolutely for free. All that I ask in return is that you smash that like button if you haven't done already. Moreover, if you wish for a free share worth up to 200 pounds or $200, then feel free to use the link below to sign up for free trade or trading 212. Upon sign up and deposit, you will get a free share worth up to $200, which you can use to invest in a variety of companies. For my detailed analysis on the six main drivers, which are increasing the popularity in stocks, then you should definitely check out my previous video in the link below. So what are the dangers with this rising popularity in stock investing? Well, there are a variety of dangers due to this increasing new breed of investors. Many of these retail investors tend to think that investing to the stock market is the same as gambling. Sir, uh, you're aware that there's a $50,000 buy-in this evening? If that's the case, give me a hundred thousand dollars in chips. Let me have a diet Pepsi and some hot wings. hundred thousand. Come on, give them the chip, let's bring play. It. <clears throat> Woo, I'm gonna get some of this money. They think you don't have to research companies, you don't have to actually understand the financials of businesses, and you could just simply a guessing game where you invest into a business and either you win or you lose, like being in the casino, at Vegas. This is completely ridiculous. And although you can earn in the short term, in the long term, it's very, very risky. This is not investing. This is pure speculation. This danger is further enhanced by the free trading apps which are available on your mobile. This means you can invest into stocks 24 seven, no matter what emotional state you're in. This is very, very dangerous. A crazy example of how this new breed of retail investors invest into stocks was found during a recent Pomona College study. This study found that stocks with cool ticker symbol names actually outperformed the stock market. For example, stocks with tickers like PZZA or pizza or B-Day or birthday or cool actually beat the stock market. There is even a stock with a symbol called Fang DD, which is nothing to do with the Fang stocks, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. But just because it sounds like the Fang stocks, Fang DD is actually a Chinese real estate company. But that didn't stop the exuberant retail investors from investing blindly into the stock, causing it to skyrocket by 395%. 
Now, of course, it's pretty clear that there is no enhanced business factor caused by the stock having a cool name, yet its price still rose massively. So the only reasonable explanation as why these stocks are doing better is that people are blindly buying stocks just because the name sounds cool. Without researching the company, checking its debt, competitive advantage, management, and business fundamentals. This is causing the price of these stocks to inflate in the short term, which is why they are beating the market, but it's clear that it's complete madness and pure speculation. Yes, in the short term, you can make a profit by dancing in and out of these risky stocks and trading them heavily. But in the long term, it's an extremely risky game to play as you're investing under the premise that someone else will pay more for that stock than you rather than the fact that the business has actually improved its fundamentals, thus the stock price has increased organically. This type of buying stocks is not investing. It is gambling and pure speculation. So just be aware, if you wanna play that game, understand that you're playing that game. Maybe have a section of your funds and you're like, okay, I'm gonna play the speculation game, the same way you might go to Vegas. But don't think you're investing and disguise it under that veil. This brings me neatly onto danger number two, and that is the increasing rise in share prices of bankrupt stocks. This is crazy. I've seen so many stocks of companies which have actually bankrupt have their share prices skyrocket in recent weeks. A major example is Hertz, which recently declared for chapter 11 bankruptcy. And even the great investor Carl Icahn sold all Hertz stock at a $2 billion loss. However, this didn't stop many retail investors buying massive amounts of Hertz shares, causing the stock price to inflate. The stock surged by over 352% in just a few days. So who was buying this bankrupt stock? Retail investors, of course, most notably Robinhood traders. According to RobinTrack, a website that tracks Robinhood's data, Hertz was number two on the popularity chart. Now this type of bankruptcy doesn't mean the business is completely destroyed. However, it does mean that the business debt requires restructuring and many assets may have to be sold off. However, this also means that stock investors will be last on the list to recoup any losses, should the company completely fail. In the worst case scenario, stock investors are last on the list to receive anything from the company if it's all its assets are sold off to pay its debts. They'll be behind bondholders, debt collectors, and even lawyers collecting hefty legal fees. But that's not all. The company's stock could actually become worthless as its share price is diluted. The stock would then be relisted as a brand new, penny stock. Any shareholders who invest into the original stock would lose their entire investment. Now, some people may say, wait, Ben, we are investing into a company in the hope that it may turn around in the future. Isn't that value investing or contrarian investing? And I will say to them, no. Contrarian investing and value investing is you spotted a great company which is going through temporarily tough times. You've checked the balance sheet. You see it's got good levels of cash flow. You see it's got low debt. You see it can survive and it will survive. Whereas these speculative investors are investing in companies which are already declared bankruptcy. That's the madness that we're going through in the stock market. I believe this time will go down in history as one of the craziest times ever in the stock market. You have smart but ruthless traders. I will call them the wolves. They will begin to buy shares in bankrupt companies. Then the herd, I will call them the sheep or the retail investors, will see these shares being purchased. They will think they're missing out. They'll think it's a great deal. They'll go in and buy more. The share price will inflate, inflate, inflate. This will be the top of the bubble. Then the traders and the wolves will sell fast. They'll sell, sell, sell. This bubble will pop and all those retail investors will lose all their money. And it's a terrible situation for them to be in. So how can you protect yourself from this madness and herd mentality? Well, the simple way to protect yourself is by sticking to investing fundamentals which have been proven over time to work. That is only investing into exceptional companies, invest into companies with great management, with a competitive advantage, invest over the long term, invest into great companies which you know are gonna survive in 20, 30, 40 years time. That is the way that you win in this game. Don't fall for the value traps or the complete speculations unless you've got a portion of your cash to one side which you're happy to lose completely. In the words of the great Warren Buffett, it's better to buy a great company at a fair price than a fair company at a great price. You should avoid herd mentality. You should be an independent thinker and always check businesses have low levels of debt. 
Now, if you wish to learn more, I have a variety of investing videos on this channel, such as those explaining qualitative and quantitative investing. So you can check those out on the link below and you can get learning some reliable stock investing information. So what risks do you think this herd mentality and gambling in the stock market is bringing to the average investor? Comment your thoughts below and I'll join in the discussion. In addition, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That allows us to continue creating more great content like this for you guys. In addition, if you would like more investing tips and exclusive stock market picks, which I personally have invested into, then you should definitely subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this video, you should also check out the video I did on Jay-Z and his top seven investments, which made him hip hop's first ever billionaire. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, yeah.